Welcome back, hookaholics. I did it again. So, uh, you know, a few months ago, I picked up this um, limited production 1-3 fishing fuse, carbon fuse rod. Uh, it was their bait casting rod. And uh, as I explained on the video, you know, it's a, the idea and the preface behind this is the entire blank is formed along with the construction of the blank. They, in turn, construct the real seat and grip and the pistol grip and everything. So the only components of this rod that are not directly part of the formation of the blank are, of course, your line ties, uh, the eyelets, the nut for, uh, for tightening down your reel on the reel seat, and, of course, the EVA foam uh, grips. Um, aside from that, and a little plate on the inside, a little sticker plate that's glued in, Everything else, the handle, the rod tip, the rod main uh, blank itself, it's all one piece. So the sensitivity in this is literally bar none. Um, next to hand lining, you have no other rod idea or rod design that I could think of that would be more sensitive from tip to hand. This also caught me while I was just playing around, flipping um, a, uh, a green pumpkin chartreuse chase baits love bug. I was just flipping around, just taking this out for the you know maiden voyage, just to see how it would react in my hand. I had my one three fishings um, Z uh, concept Z uh, reel, so I was just you know playing around. I had no intention of going fishing. I just Texas rigged the bait, threw it out a couple of times, uh, threw it up against a down log or um, uh, a down tree. And uh, lo and behold, I caught last year, right around my, my birthday, uh, one of the better bass for that year, which was uh, 5 pounds 3 ounces, I believe, or 5 pounds 4 ounces, can't quite remember. Um, and on that video, I said I was looking into, you know, depending on how this rod worked out, I was thinking maybe I'll get another one. Mind you, they're $500 a rod. Uh, they're limited to 1,500 total, so you have 1,500 spinning, well, 3,000 total, 1,500 of the bait casting rods and 1,500 of the spinning rods. So that was number 28 in the bait casting, 28 out of 1,500, and uh, yeah, I broke down, and this past <clears throat> week, I picked up from Tackle Warehouse, which gave me a free little reel sleeve, I got the one three fishings carbon fuse in the spinning combo well not combo but the spinning rod so this one happens to be number what one something uh 74 all right so i have 28 and this is number 74 74 out of 1500 uh, again same same principle they did come down in price probably because People weren't so agile at uh, at picking these up for uh, for the five hundred dollars, so they did come down to four hundred and fifty. <laughs> Tag still on it. Haven't taken it out yet, uh, but I was looking for something to be my new. Uh, as you can kind of tell by this little weight here, my new drop shot rig. So I'm going to take this out in the 2022 season as my dedicated drop shot rod. Again, everything except for the line eyes and the nut as well as little EVA foam uh, everything else on this is all designed as part of the rod blank so it's the ultimate sensitivity and I think for a drop shot uh, for my Texas rig those are the two main um, you know two main dedicated uh, uh, bait classification styles that I want ultimate sensitivity I want to be able to feel the bottom and feel the slightest little nips and, and the slurps of a bass or any fish uh, when I'm throwing my bait caster on a Texas rig because it gives me the idea of what's down there, what kind of cover you got, especially blind fishing. And naturally, when you're drop, sh uh, fish, drop shot fishing with super light line, six pound, uh, I do eight pound main and six pound uh, fluoro as my leader. Um, you know, you want that. So, along with it, I got, starting with one of the most expensive and probably the best technology rods, I went with one of the moderately expensive and probably one of the worst rated uh, reels. 
So while I was out there, I, I decided they had it on sale uh, at Tackle Warehouse. Um, this is the One Three Fishings. Um, the heck is this reel? It's a crappy, crappy Prototype X. It's the Prototype X. Um, I've heard a lot of good and a lot of bad, mostly bad, about this particular reel. Uh, again, it's drop shotting. You really want one with a really excellent drag that you can set really soft. Uh, it's going to be responsive. Um, for that, I'm not too worried about this. Uh, the, the main thing, what I've heard, is that these guys... I mean, I'm hoping as I work it out, and I'll re-oil it and, and break it down and kind of tune it a little bit, uh, make it a little bit smoother. Um, mostly it's been... Um, just casting uh, for this that, that I've seen most of the, the bad reviews. But I'm probably going to work this more vertical anyway, so casting's not the biggest deal for me. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it was on sale. I think it's normally a regular price, like $200. Uh, this was like half half price of that. So uh, I decided to go with this as the matching reel for the, con for the carbon fuse um, rod. So, again... Everything in this rod, as you can see here, it's kind of obvious, it's all just one molded piece. The, the knob here obviously is separate because you got to have that, but the, the real seat and everything is all part of the blank, and then you just have your EVA foam on the end. It's got a nice split grip. Um, again, it's, it's good. I like, I like something that really, what really intrigued me about this when I first got it in. So when I drop shot, I index my pointer finger right here on the top of of the rod so typically i'd be indexing here somewhere on the rod blank near enough this 13 fishing thing what this rod has actually given me is with this nice stubby uh tail section i can tuck that right into my forearm i can put my middle finger around the front end of this reel and it indexes my finger right here in this nice almost like manufactured for this purpose uh, position so I can sit and I can feel as I'm slowly winding I can really feel the the vibrations coming down the ticks and what have you I also it also has a good place for casting where you can put your your thumb on this relatively flat space so that I have to admit was a surprising feature that I wasn't expecting so my casting should be a little bit more whippy uh, for distance and then I have a place to keep this locked into my forearm rest my index finger, reduce the fatigue, uh, reduce the carpal tunnel kind of syndrome that you can get, especially if you're bent over in this L position all day, that's, that's just terrible for circulation on your wrist. So being able to bring my palm around and, and just kind of index it this way on a drop shot, and then when I have to set the hook, I can rotate and lift. And also, it's right there. I can just, you know, do that vertical leverage to pull the, uh, the hook set and uh, having it locked in here at the forearm, it, it gives me a good, rigid, solid uh, base for the hook set. So, like I said, this is going to be my dedicated drop shot rig. Uh, you can kind of say I got plenty and plenty and plenty of rods over there. Not to mention the handful that are hidden off camera on this side. Uh, another about half dozen, dozen. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, I'm interested to see how these two work out. These are probably going to be my daily carries. Um, again, this one originally was the 500, 499.99 that I got. I believe this one they dropped it down to 450. So uh, they do have a handful of these. This is a medium light. Medium light. It is um, uh, one eighth ounce up to nine sixteenths, I believe. Let me, let me double check. So uh, not nine sixteenths. What am I talking about? Uh, three, three eighths. So one eighth up to three eighths, uh, four to 10 pound line. It's a seven, two, and it's a medium light, um, fast action, uh, medium light power. So, um, I'm interested to see how it works. It isn't super, super tippy. It's not like a super fast action. It's all, it's almost a moderate fast or, or fast. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm liking it. Um, at least you know, hand in, uh, not out on the water yet, but I'm liking it. So, uh, I'm going to be interested to see what this works out to. Um, that being said, I'm going to post another video right after this one on 
my MTB for this month, so that just came in. But I thought I'd share this a little bit with you, so look forward to seeing this on the water with me in the upcoming months, because uh, spring is right around the corner, regardless of what Punxsy Tony Phil said. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll enjoy that when that comes. Until then, as always, tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, alcoholics.